gorgeous souls. It's Mary Rose from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. This video is a three card tarot reading for our week ahead or for whenever you're watching this. The reading is intended for you. It doesn't matter. Um, you were drawn to watch this so that's the way spirit guides work. Something mysteriously drew you here and uh, it doesn't matter if it was pre-recorded and you're watching it way later like I said. And if you're noticing maybe a couple of things are not quite resonating with you then visit back and just uh, maybe some things have to unfold in your life for the reading and the message to actually take effect and to mean something. That's the way it works, okay? And I've been doing this for so many years and I get the same feedback from uh, my clients and from my, um, from my followers. How did you know? Are you talking directly to me? And I'm not thinking of anything. I'm just allowing spirit guide uh, messages, spirit to just facilitate the message through me and I've been doing it, like I said, I've been doing it a long time, so that's what I do. And um, yeah, I just like to give a message and spread some fairy dust and put a smile on your face and to help you in some way of whatever you're going through and support you on that, okay? And the cards that I'm working with are one of my favorite decks. I forgot about this deck, Londa. The reason why is because it is an old, old deck. It's out of print by US Games and the Londa Tarot by Londa. They're so interesting, very, very interesting, very interesting cards. And um, yeah, I was t I was guided today to actually work with them today. And I'm, I'm gonna start working with them the, when I do my personal readings. <laughs> it's been years, I got them like in 97. So that's why I'm saying maybe 96, it's like so long ago, it was like last century. <laughs> okay, so I've already dealt the cards and I've already pulled them, okay, so I have, before I begin, I have two cameras going, one for um, YouTube and one for IGTV. So if you see me kind of looking elsewhere, I'm not reading, this is not scripted, this is just me reading and looking from, um, not reading the script, just reading and using the energy to come through so I can, I'm looking at the camera and you'll see, anyways, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so the first card is the Five of Cups, okay, and as you can see, she's kind of looking sad and disappointed okay and so the five of cups is like uh one cup well actually in this deck um well there's actually there's two cups two cups that are falling down and there's cups that are right side up behind her she is not looking at that she is only looking at what has fallen down and what is lost and she's almost making a story about it you know what i'm saying it's like she's she's actually looking at the things that have happened that could go wrong and that have maybe went wrong and so she's looking at it and she's actually being really hard on herself she's she's putting all this effort um into trying to like trying to please someone or trying to please herself trying to think that she's got to be a certain way she has to it has to be a certain way and you know what she's not looking she's not in the moment because the cups that are right side up that are overflowing with love and abundance she's not looking at that so that's what's telling you okay so maybe you've been feeling a little bit like um, a little bit like there's a lot of stories in my in your mind going on telling you well You need to get it like this deadlines. Trust me. I know what that means <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. I'm working on a tarot course Tell me I'll, like I have to tell you since mercury retrograde if you're watching this during the mercury re retrograde um, film when I'm filming this You'll know that well mercury retrograde everything everything kind of goes haywire and so it's been really testing um, our patients because things, all the electronic devices and everything kind of goes wrong or not wrong, but just there's delays. So anyways, this is where the pressure comes in because we think that we have to be, and it has to be a certain way. And you know, when something goes wrong, instead of just taking a step back and saying, okay, I'm just gonna breathe and relax and just, you know, it is what it is and just accept it for the way it is. If we just do that, we can actually um, accomplish rather than put that pressure on ourselves and create more um, havoc in our life and more resistance so what you resist will persist what you accept will disappear and that is what it's telling you that you're resisting too much that's what the five of cups is saying is that you're you're listening more in those those thoughts th whose thoughts are those that are telling you you're not good enough whose thoughts are those that's saying that it's not good enough um, who's telling you that it's just yourself is there anything like I said it's like there's nothing here that's telling you that right and so you have to tell yourself you are good enough um, it is good enough it is what it is and you got to go with it and I know that might trigger some people about that because 
when you hear it is what it is, you think, okay, it is a failure. It is this. No, it's not. We're all unique. Everything is unique. You know, everything is different. You know, just because something is not um, aesthetically pleasing, if we're trying to accomplish something, like maybe, I'm just going to give you my example, my tomato garden. <laughs> it's not as good as my neighbor's tomato garden. And it's like, you know, it is what it is. It's growing the way it's going to grow, right? And it's just going to happen the way it's going to happen, you know. And um, to look back and say, maybe I, this is my first year. I'm just giving you this example. This was just came up in my mind. I just started uh, my first, this is my first time ever gardening. <laughs> and uh, my, my neighbor uh, did her garden as well beside mine. And her tomato is tomato plant is like this high. Mine's like down here. And I didn't, well, I know I, I probably didn't do it properly. I was before, I did it before she did. And I really did, I didn't really dig into there. You know, she was giving me some pointers and she's new to it too. But she's like, you know, maybe you should have done it this way and that. You know, instead of going, oh, why didn't I do, I'm just giving you something light, okay. Instead of looking at it and just being like, you know, um, looking at the, the, cap, the cup half, empty I'm looking at a half full because or did I say that right I, I don't know but you know what I mean it's like I'm actually looking at it and saying you know what I created that I planted that it's actually growing it actually maybe it's smaller and it's not as big as my neighbor's um, plants and flourishing as beautiful as hers but that doesn't mean it's not beautiful it's still amazing and it, I came from me right so like my nurturing and my um, like watching it grow and doing all the things and watering it and uh, you know feeding it love so it's like just to give you that example I know maybe in some way you might be looking and thinking why are you talking about um, a garden because that's what everything is life is a garden okay everything's a garden if we don't feed it if we don't nurture it if we don't love it it's not gonna grow okay and so with saying that that's with relationships too and that's with yourself as well like we can neglect ourselves. We can neglect. We can let ourselves go, and then we ask, "Why am I so unhealthy? Why is it hard for me to walk up and down the stairs, and without getting short-winded?" Why? Like I'm just giving you these examples, and you know, it's not about. Um, it's it's about nurturing, and it's about just accepting acceptance. That's what this is telling you. That's what the the five of cups means. It's just accepting accepting this okay and um yeah like i was talking about my tarot course i promised everybody that it was going to be done on the 15th of july well i was telling everybody i was telling my friends and you know it didn't happen <laughs> that's not that's not a bad thing because actually i decided to i got some ideas at the same time and i said oh i'm gonna put this and put that and put that but it's not a good time at this point right now because there's some stuff going on that you know it's it is what it is and I'm accepting it it's actually growing because actually I'm getting more information to to give to um, to the course and I'm so excited about it <laughs> so excited so you know so I'm looking at maybe my goal for it to be done I'm just gonna this is a long shot but I'm just saying like the fall but it'll probably be finished before then because I'm not putting pressure on myself see what I'm saying don't put no pressure on yourself I'm not, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I meant, and by doing that, I know that I'm going to get it done. Because when you don't put um, pressure on yourself, it's good to put a little pressure and be productive, yes, and be creative and and get it done. But not to the point where say, oh, you got to do it and you got to oh, like you know, just getting that. You you know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay. So the second card that came up that fell actually just fell out of the deck when I was shuffling. I was like, whoa, okay. So <laughs> and there it is, the two of swords. And as you can see, the Two of Swords, okay, swords are mental, okay? Uh, cups are water, cu sorry, cups are water, and water is emotional. And swords are mental, and they're like the things that get things, um, intellectual, I should say. They're more intellectual, more about the mind. And as you can see, she is, or he is, actually, it's a male. It looks like a male, but I, I think it's both. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just showing that feeling like, he's holding on or he or she is holding on to two things at one time just being very like trying to figure out where they want to go and it's trying to figure out where where do I go do I go right do I go left how do I begin how do I how do I complete this and um, you know it's it's oh and there's there's a mask on on this figure as well not really tapping into the love that's what's sent within this um, individual so there is something that this person is not looking into and not not tapping into and when you are in your true loving state you know what to do 
you you already feel it and that is when you're intuitive and when you're on point and when you are um, aligned to your true nature and to your true self is when you tap into the um, into your true essence of love and this figure is a little confused and has a blindfold and is not as protecting themselves they're worried on how they I will I see it as worried how you might look to other people maybe that's why the decision is really tough to um, to, 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 to go forward with or to be take that make that decision there's just that um, that way I'm even getting very tongue-tied by looking at and tapping into this card because it kind of makes me feel a little bit like <laughs> my stuff right I mean we're always worried um, or not worried maybe worried is a harsh word but it's kind of like we're always thinking well how do I look well how's that gonna look well <laughs> is that gonna be good enough or there you go back to the five of cups but it's kind of like trying to look like you not trying but just looking at something and just being a little confused it's making me feel confused but that's what the card is about when you look at the card you have to just feel the essence of it okay and that is what I'm talking about just when you're confused about something don't make a decision end of story never make a decision when you're confused because when you're confused you're only going to choose the wrong it's just guessing games right and so it's better not to not to do anything and take that take that uh, chance and if you have to well then you have to look at the pros and cons and you have to just dive in okay if you want to make a decision you got to say you know what just dive in and then you'll make the right decision so when i say dive in it's like don't be afraid of what other people are going to think of you like yeah um look at the pros and cons of the situation and just say you know what instead of what it looks like on paper i am going to go by what brings me joy if it doesn't bring me any joy then why should i take that make that decision and this really this goes with relationships like you might be feeling and really loving somebody and waiting for that person um to come forward and to just really like open up to you and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're confused maybe you should take the first step and you're kind of like nudging yourself maybe i should go do that maybe maybe so maybe maybe it is a good time for you to do that but sometimes we we do, we do that to ourselves and we're actually it's our minds telling us to do that it's not really what we should be doing maybe we should just let go of the person and just walk away I see a lot of situations like that like um, even though if it could be your soulmate don't get me wrong or your twin flame or your karmic flame but it's not gonna do you any justice by holding on to that and trying to figure out if you should or you shouldn't or you should you know what if I maybe I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait by the phone I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait are they gonna text me and then you're going and you're looking on their 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 social media feeds and looking at their profile and trying to figure out if they're gonna or you're spying on them I know a lot of people do that don't get me wrong it's not a it's it's not really healthy actually to be spying on somebody I'll be honest I I have to give you the tough love if you're spying on someone and you're waiting for them to make a move and you're confused about that well you know what that's telling you that's toxic that's toxic energy and that actually will push that person away even if they are your soulmate because they can feel we are all intuitive and we can feel the energies of others big time even if it's all far away trust me this is what I do I read people um, FaceTiming and WhatsApp and Skype and you know what it's an energy it's an energy and a lot of my clients say the same thing they feel it we feel it we feel each other so they can feel it even if it's on social media it still doesn't matter or uh, maybe you're just passing by their house and just waiting for them or just saying oh well I noticed um, they had somebody visit them maybe are they seeing somebody else stop it can I just tell you to stop it I'm sorry I know some people don't like how blunt I can be because when I talk I can be very blunt and I don't mean to offend anybody <laughs> ever but I'm just you know what it's just what comes through and I'm just telling you right now you need to just surrender it okay surrender it it'll be back for you later but it's better not to get in tra get trapped into well I have to go and I have to see what they're doing oh I have to go see and I you know I'm just you know don't do that a lot of people go on to they get a they get an anonymous account and they just start following a, someone and just you know they're the beloved or you know what I mean it's like there's just too much dizziness even when I'm looking at this card I feel so much dizziness so you drop it down and just surrender 
Um, what is meant to be and what is who is meant to be in your life will come back regardless of what you say, you do, or whatever is going on, they will always be there. Even I've seen the most toxic relationships and the most hardest relationships turn into total bliss. And how that happened was when they surrendered and they released and they did not push and they just allowed that person to just come to them when the time was right because a lot of that factors and a lot of issues um, take place here. Sometimes a person has lots of stuff that they have to deal with and you don't know that. You, you don't know what's going on. And instead of projecting your fear of maybe they're doing this and maybe they're doing that, instead of doing that, just let it go and say, I trust, I trust the divine. I trust and I know that it's all gonna happen. And if it's same thing, if it's for business, the same thing applies, okay? So when I say business, I mean like if you are worried about your finances or your career, the more you push and try to lifting that piano off the ground, the more you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> I know you might un ask yourself, what does she mean by that? It's trying to make something happen and trying to make it work. Uh, Why well, I said piano because it's very heavy and it's trying to make something happen at a time that you want to control it. The more you try to control, the more you're going to um, not accomplish anything. So you need to just be productive, be proactive and be very creative. But at the same time, just trust and allow. You know, if you're looking for... Um, something to happen this time and that you can't put a deadline on it. That's what it's all about. Forget the deadlines, guys. Really, deadlines don't work. It's good to put a little thing on yourself, a little fire, but you know, take it, take it slowly. Take life a little bit more slower pace because there's too much busyness in our life, right? We got too much stuff going on that stresses the life out of us. And you know, as we get older, we feel it more. I know I feel it. It's like you feel things more and you wonder, why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling that? Why am I feeling that? You know, it's just, you need to, de the best way, the most number one, okay, first of all, the number one reason for health issues and everything is stress. And you need to de-stress yourself. The best way to de-stress yourself is to just breathe. <laughs> and you're wondering, I'm breathing. Yes, no, sometimes we forget to breathe. Just take a nice breath and it actually feels really good. And you actually heal yourself in so many ways. Yes, we do. Okay, the next card is the strength. And I love the strength. It's actually number 11 here. I thought strength was, in some tarot it's number eight, but it's 11 here. I know it's one of my, uh, it's one of, it's my card actually in uh, the tarot cards. Number, I'm a number eight and um, strength is my archetype. Um, so a strength is actually, um, doing the impossible is what it is. Okay, so when this deck, um, this card, she's got two two leopards, and she is a cat lady. <laughs> I'm a cat lady. Um, she loves, but these are these are wild animals, or they they look like it. They look like giant cats, and she's basically doing something that's impossible. She's opening and closing. Well, actually, the traditional is opening and closing a lion's mouth. She is holding on to her leopard and she's tamed it. She's tamed the leopard um, very nicely and it's doing the impossible. Um, this card is a little bit different than your traditional strength card. It's, well, I have to look, I'm looking at other the other factors. Oh, we have the infinity symbol that's on top of her crown of her head, is, if you can see that. And the infinity symbol is, um, it's actually infinity. It's, it's actually a beautiful message for us to know that whatever you're doing, you're actually going to come onto the other side. So it's actually a, a transformation and it's a change, but it's actually um, rebirth and well, it's a renewal. It's I, I see the infinity symbol on on her crown as abundance, and um, she's attracting so much good to her. She's actually very uh, very successful in what she does, but she's done it in a way that without the control. You know, if you've ever seen a feral cat and trying to train a feral cat, you gotta be very gentle with a feral cat. Um, I used to, um, I used to uh, work at a, well not work, but I, I um, donated my time, um, volunteered, <laughs> sorry, uh, volunteered my time at a cat shelter and I've seen a lot of um, feral cats. 
And the way you have to approach them is very calmly and very slowly and holding on to them really, you know, don't, you can't, you can't, you gotta be very gentle with them because they, it's like they read the energy. And so what she did is that she's, she's basically doing that. She's reading the energy and she's actually taming them to be her, her pets, you know, and you can do that. They can be domestic. She's making them domestic and they're wild animals. So that's what it's telling you that you're actually doing the impossible. Oh, and 11 is actually a sacred number. I should have said that. Eight is a sacred number too. Eight is a abundance number. And it's the, like I said, it's the infinity symbol as well, turned like um, horizontal, okay? And the 11 is new beginnings and rebirth. I guess that's where that came from because I was like, no, infinity symbol doesn't mean rebirth. It actually represents that you are limitless and you can like, Life is, um, you, can, you can accomplish anything that your heart desires. That's what the, um, the eight number, oh, sorry, the infinity symbol means, that you can accomplish anything your heart desires by just um, tapping into your, your true center. And the 11 is actually saying that there's a new beginning coming to you. Like this is creating something. So she's co-creating, she's tracking, and the green, tells me that this is a healing energy. So she's, the, the cats are healing. Cats are healing. I always say cats are like the Reiki masters of, of everything they are. They, they teach us Reiki. If you ever see a cat, they're just so healing, you know? And so she is actually healing them and they're healing her, you know? If you wanna work on your chakras, go hug your cat or hug your dog. Like just, you'll notice that you're, you'll feel much better. Anytime you're feeling a little bit low, just go hug someone <laughs> or even hug someone, hug a person, someone that you care about, someone that you love. And you'll notice that you feel much better because it just aligns your, your chakras. You gotta do it for a few minutes though. It's not like something that's just a fast hug. You gotta hold hold that embrace for like a good three minutes. That's what, you know, that's, that's what does it for me. You know, and so that's what that's telling you. And I'm getting lots of info for you guys about um, what's happening for you in the future. Like there's gonna be some really good stuff coming up wherever time-wise you're watching this. Whatever is happening in your life, this too shall pass. If there's any challenges that are going on right now, trust me, these challenges are gonna change. There's gonna be um, a transformation happening for you. You know, because a lot of the energies are passing through. We have a little bit of a retrograde season. We had eclipse season this month. This month, If you're watching this in July when I uh, recorded this, um, there's a lot of stuff that's happening, but it's going to shift <laughs> coming up in, uh, August and, or next month soon, even if you're watching this later, I shouldn't say the months because that throws people off, but it doesn't matter. This is good. Whenever time you're watching this, your future, I'm talking to the person in the future. If you're watching this, it's going to pass whatever you're going through. I trust you. It's divine. Trust me. It's going to change. You just have to know that it's by divine timing and you know, you don't have to be perfect. It's all going to happen the way it's meant to happen. It's all good. There's going to be a beautiful outcome. Okay. Yeah. So that's the message for all of us today. And I hope it was helpful for you. If you're interested in getting a longer reading, go to my website. But first, subscribe to my website. Subscribe to my mailing list because I'm offering a 10% discount for your first reading, okay? And I'm also giving some goodies, a couple meditations and um, a coloring book as well. So an affirmation coloring book. You gotta just go to my website and subscribe first so you can get the code and get the goodies. You can subscribe later if you'd like to, it doesn't matter. But if you wanna get a longer reading, go to my website, psychicsoulmatereading.com. And I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for following me. Um, subscribing to my channels and always being so courteous and kind with your words. I really, really appreciate that. Until next time, I wish you peace, blessings, and love and light to you all. Namaste.